Hi guys, welcome you again to another news, still on the issue of insecurity in Nigeria. Now, the Liberal Party presidential candidate Peter Obi has reacted to the killings of soldiers and now he has taxed Buhari government. The Buhari government has to do the needful concerning what is happening as regard to the insecurity ravaging in Nigeria. According to him, Peter Obi reacts to the killing of soldiers and taxes Buhari's government. As we all know that a lot of things is actually happening in Nigeria. Things who are capable of destroying you know, a country. We've heard about Tinobu lying to us about his age, whereby his, um, his in-law, Timak, told us that Tinobu is 86 and not fit to run as president. We have also heard Tinobu telling us that he is only 70 and can still run. Well, we would like you to let us know your own point of view to all these things that has been happening. But what has just happened about the reaction of Peter Obi to the killings of soldiers? We would like you to sit tight as we go into the full details of the news. If you are coming across this channel for the very first time, don't just watch and leave the subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell icon to get you notified anytime we post a new update. And also a big shout out to our existing subscribers. I want to say a big thank you to you for liking, sharing and commenting. I want to employ you to continue to do so and as you do, remain blessed. Now to the full gist of the news. Mr. Peter Obi, the Labour Party's presidential candidate, has denounced the terrorist murders of soldiers in Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory. Insurgents believed to be from Boko Haram attacked the presidential guards brigade in Abuja on Monday, killing at least two troops, according to the Daily Post. Obi responded by sending his condolences to the families of the deceased in a tweet on his verified Twitter account on Thursday. He instructed the administration of President Muhammad Buhari to move quickly to address the national security situation. That is what has been said. Now, if President Muhammad Buhari, who is a former commander, you know, a former military commander, is finding it hard to pilot the affair of Nigeria as regard to the safety of lives and properties of Nigerians. Now, is this someone who lied to us about his age that will pilot the affair of Nigeria? No one that Timak have said that nobody's ATC is an unfit to serve as a president. According to Timak, who was a you know, a seasoned flutist. He urged Nigerians not to even vote for Bola Tinobu, the APC presidential nominee, to succeed the Major General Muhammad Buhari as Nigerian leader. What is your thought to this? Tinobu, you know, claimed that this man is his in law and argued that. It was crucial for Nigerians to think carefully about who they wanted as their country's next leader. What is your own reaction to this brand development? Despite the fact that Nigerians are complaining about Buhari's administration, about the insecurity situation in Nigeria, do you know that these terrorists are still working, they are still launching deadly attacks? in different parts of Nigeria. We've heard about Atiku saying that he would stop banditry activities in Zamfara if he becomes the next president, if he is elected as president, despite the fact that Nigerians are lamenting about the security situation. The bandits shot two workers and bombed construction company in our the uh, our in Ondo State where on a St. Francis Catholic Church was attacked, whereby over 40 people were confirmed dead. According to People's Gazette, it was learned that two people were hurt in the attack, 
on the Cream Barge Construction Company on Wednesday night in our own those states. So, now that we already know that Sinobu is not competent to be the next president of Nigeria, would you allow him to be voted for? Or even if he continues to do what he knows how to do best in order to get the Nigerian votes, you as a Nigerian who already know the in and out, would you still vote for someone like Paula Ahmed Tinobu? We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. We would like you to share your own reaction with us via the comment section. A lot is happening. We would like you to share your thoughts with us. But before we go, let's people's reactions to this. Guest here reacted and said, Please, the president should do something about the insecurity. If he don't want to be impeached and he should find a good man to hand over, you know, to in person of Peter Obi, who is the former governor of Anambra State, and Yusuf Dati Ahmed as Peter Obi's running mate, his vice, as the case may be, enough is enough. For the wise, a stubborn flies follows, it comes to the grief. Nigerians have had enough. That is a reaction from guests saying that Nigerians have had enough. Please, the president should do the needful. Let him do something about the security situation of Nigeria if he doesn't want to be impeached. Don't forget that the National Assembly, the senators are ready working on his impeachment, but do you think, even if he doesn't do anything, do you think he will surely be impeached? Don't forget that this impeachment is not something that is new. It has been coming times that number, and of course, we've not seen any positive impact of this impeachment in the situation. Now that the impeachment is even coming and we are hearing about different attacks, you see, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. The best thing for us to do now is to get someone who is capable to succeed Buhari. Even if Buhari doesn't endorse somebody like that. But if we Nigerians vote for such person, if we Nigerians make the person, you know, the next president, there's nothing the president Muhammad Buhari can do than to follow the people's choice. We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this. Just like what guests have said, that Peter Obi can own can pilot the affair of Nigeria. He's the only person that can lead Nigeria to the promised land. Nigerians have had enough. Enough is enough. We need to do something urgently about this. But the question is, is Peter Obi 100% competent just like people have been clamoring about him do you think he can do the needful well we would like you to let us know your own point of view to this don't forget that peter obi has reacted to the killing of soldiers and has talked buhari government to do the needful thank you guys for listening subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on the other news bye for now